see any of this. This could set us up for a real long time. I mean, it could literally change our lives. We get out of here, we go our separate ways. You forget you know us. No problem there. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 thriller Cascade. The film stars Sarah Weisglass, Greg Brick, Joanna Douglas and Sadie Laflemme Snow. Now the film follows a group of friends, four friends, who decide to go kind of hiking up in the woods to kind of look for this beautiful waterfall, go camping, do all that good stuff. And while they are out there hiking, jumping off waterfalls, so on and so forth, they happen upon a crashed plane. And this crashed plane happens to have um, a lot of drugs within it. Uh, they decide between them to take these drugs uh, in order to try and sell them on and set them up for the rest of their life. However, there are a group of locals that are very interested in finding this plane also and uh, having the drugs for themselves. That puts the four of these young friends in grave danger and it is up to one of them, Alex, to try and save them all. Right, what are my thoughts on Cascade? Well, I mean, the story here is nothing particularly original um, or special. Like, it doesn't stand out at all. It's kind of a fairly standard, you know, story that you've kind of seen before a few times. But that doesn't necessarily make this a bad film. It just doesn't make it necessarily stand out or be original, really, in any way. Um, I think what makes this film, certainly in my opinion, you know... Uh, a reasonable watch for sure it's not a film you're going to walk away from you know and you know remember it it's not particularly memorable it's not one of those films you're going to talk about with your friends the following day and say i saw this really great film last night but it's also a film i don't think you're going to walk away from and think you wasted your time either it's perfectly watchable it's perfectly decent um and i certainly you know i wasn't bored or anything watching the film i just you know um didn't think there was anything particularly special about it. I think the things that one of the main things that makes this really quite watchable is the performance by Sarah Wearsglass, who plays Alex. She essentially is the main lead here. Um, she has to kind of uh, really knuckle down and toughen up and, you know, to try and get her friends out of the dangerous situation that they found themselves in and go up against, essentially, some very, very dangerous people. And she's really intelligent, very resourceful, um, and essentially doesn't put up with any crap. Uh, quite an impressive and interesting character, and she was easily the best thing about the film. Um, the film... Uh, does a decent job if you like of retaining some of the tension but it's also a film that threatens to get really intense uh, and at times brutal and it, uh, and i think for this film to kind of elevate itself it needed a little bit of spice thrown in the, into the sauce pot if you like it just felt at times a little bit safe it felt like the pattern you thought the film was going to follow, it followed. It just didn't give you any surprises. And it's one of those films, for example, we learn right at the beginning of this film that Alex's father is a renowned drug dealer, really. Now, you don't know just how in-depth of a drug dealer he is. You, you, it kind of doesn't sell him as like this big drug dealer. You just kind of think maybe he's like a local dealer and he's not a very nice man. Um, and she see, she has this confrontation with him at the beginning of the film in front of their mother. So she doesn't get on with her father at all. And lo and behold, um, it's the sort of film that, you know, plants that seed at the beginning and then thinks it's paying it off at the end. But what it's actually doing is just being predictable. Um, it's one of those films you'll watch, you just think, all oh, right, I know where that's going. Um so it, it, they didn't necessarily think about it enough or they weren't clever enough in the writing to kind of make us feel like the film was constantly surprising us because it doesn't and it it also presents some of the characters as um being villainous when they they don't actually sell it particularly well like some of the villainous characters here in this film they felt like a little bit like cliches to me, rather than 
uh, actually being villainous. I think it'd probably been much better to kind of portray them as a little bit more regular rather than like the southern mountain hicks, if you like, that they tried to make them out to be. Um, just make them regular people, just make them villainous sort of thing. You didn't necessarily have to do uh, the cliches here in the film. I think the only, I won't even call it a surprise really, but the only thing um, that I thought um, was mildly surprising, I suppose is the best way I can put it, is there is a character in the film that is part of the villain's side who kind of um, is quite a sympathetic character who kind of ends up kind of helping the rest of them and, su and supporting the rest of them. Uh, so that was quite an interesting character uh, that paid off to some degree by the end of the movie, but it, it's just one of those films, I suppose, that if, if, if the storyline and the concept or anything that I've said to you sounds interesting at all, then this is a film that probably you may well enjoy. Um, you'll certainly, I don't think you'll come away from this film thinking, well, that was terrible, that was trash. Um, but it's also, as I've said, it's not one of those films that you're going to go away from. You know, if, Sometimes you go away from a film and you're absolutely buzzing. And you th all these things are going around in your head thinking, yeah, that was really good, I liked, that. I liked it when they did that, and I liked it when they did that. There's none of that when this film is done unfinished. You know, you just kind of walk away... Uh, from the film thinking, well, that's, that's all right, that's decent enough. So it, it's a decent thriller. It could have been more, it could have been better. But what we've what they've given us really here is a fairly safe film, um, but ultimately a decent uh, film as well. That's You know, it's got some decent production values and some decent performances, um, and it is certainly maybe worth checking out. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more content on the channel very, very soon.